Welcome to The Watch. Subscribe for more content. There are countless spells to be found in the world of Harry Potter, from the ever-popular Wingardium Leviosa to the strangely fun Tarantalega, a spell which forces people to dance, all the way to the almost bizarrely specific Antiolechia, which forces the hair of the spell's intended target to shape itself into antlers. Yet, some spells in the Harry Potter world are more impactful than others. Some spells are downright intense and powerful. If you want to know which Harry Potter spells are the strongest of the strong, take a look at this top 10 list of the most powerful Harry Potter spells. Septum Sempra. This spell causes deep, painful gashes to be immediately carved into the target. The painful gashes it causes are similar to slashes from an invisible sword, meaning they are sharp, painful, and incredibly deep. Devastatingly, the nature of this spell makes it impossible for any body parts severed through the spell to be reattached. This is definitely one of the most deadly of the physical-based Harry Potter spells since it closely resembles an actual brutal attack with a sword. Book fans will definitely remember Harry Potter using this spell in The Half-Blood Prince when he unwittingly used it against Draco Malfoy in an intense duel between the two in the dormitory bathroom. Harry had read the curse and the notes left behind by the Half-Blood Prince, though he didn't know what exactly the curse did when he used it. Book fans will also remember the spell's deadly impact on George Weasley. Snape used it against him in Deathly Hollows and took his ear off. Cruciatus Cruciatus is one of the three unforgivable curses in the Harry Potter world. This terrible spell causes the target to experience intense, powerful pain. Notably, in order to perform this curse, the caster must have an extremely strong, deep desire to inflict pain on the other person. Technically, anyone can cast the spell, but people who are not inclined to inflict pain on others will only end up casting a half-hearted version, which lasts for perhaps a quick moment and nothing more. The most famous use of Cruciatus occurs in the backstory of Neville Longbottom, whose parents were tortured extensively with the curse by Bellatrix Lestrange. Harry attempts to use the curse after the death of Sirius Black, but despite his hatred for Bellatrix Lestrange, his good nature prohibits him from truly desiring to hurt her. Subsequently, Harry's cruciatus only caused Bellatrix to feel stunned for a moment and fall down, rather than inflict the pain that the spell is meant to cause. Obliviate. Obliviate is a powerful memory spell that removes memories completely from the target's mind. Obliviate can be used to remove specific memories or it can be used in a more general sense, which causes broad memory loss and confusion. The effects of memory loss caused by this terrible spell are often permanent, and the target of the spell may be affected by it for the rest of their life. Harry Potter fans will forever associate this powerful spell with the misleadingly charming Professor Lockhart, who admitted to using the spell in order to steal the accomplishments of other witches and wizards. He would erase their memories using Obliviate and take all of the credit for himself. He attempted to use the spell on Harry, but it backfired and left Lockhart without his memories. A fitting twist. In the Order of the Phoenix, Harry discovered that the effects of Obliviate were fairly devastating. Lockhart was still missing his Obliviated memories and was being cared for at St. Mungo's due to his inability to return to a normal life. Imperious. Imperious or Imperio is another unforgivable curse. This spell is a powerful type of mind control which allows the cast to completely control the target of the spell. The victim can be made to move and perform any action, including perform unforgivable curses. Imperious can technically be resisted, but it takes an extreme amount of concentration, determination, and sheer force of will. The most memorable use of the spell in the books is when Mad-Eyed Moody, or rather Barty Crouch Jr., in the guise of Professor Moody, 
demonstrated the spell with a spider in the classroom. The students looked on in horror as he controlled the spider's every moment, making it helpless to his whims. Firestorm Firestorm is a monstrous beast of a spell which causes a massive wave of fire to completely incinerate its victim after trapping it in a lasso-like ring of flames. Incinerate can burn multiple targets at once, making it a truly fearsome contender when used in battle. The only book use of this fiery spell occurred during Half-Blood Prince when Harry and Dumbledore were forced to go up against the dreaded Inferi whose zombie-like behavior made them particularly difficult to kill. In fact, the many spells that Harry threw at them had little to no effect on the Inferi, which led to Dumbledore breaking out what would be one of his last spells, Firestorm. The spell created a wave of fire that consumed countless of the monsters, saving Harry and Dumbledore, at least for the time being. Legilimens this is one of the most forbidden spells in the Harry Potter world, and although it's not technically an unforgivable curse, not even the Ministry of Magic uses it on its most fearsome prisoners due to its invasive and taboo nature. This spell allows the person casting it to engage in legitimacy, or the ability to infiltrate the mind of someone else, revealing thoughts, emotions, memories, and actually forcing the target to re-experience their memories in vivid detail. This means that the spell can be, and has been, used as a form of torture. It is primarily Voldemort who uses this invasive spell in the book, to the point that it was said that it was Voldemort's pleasure to invade the minds of his victims. Voldemort would not only target victims to get information from them, he would access their thoughts and create visions which would eventually drive them to such madness that they, to quote Snape, literally begged for death. Kedavra. This is the most infamous of the three unforgivable curses. This dark spell instantly kills its target. Unlike other curses, there is no way, barring Harry Potter's miraculous survival, to counteract the curse. Of oh, course, the most famous use of was when Voldemort used it in his attempt to kill the infant Harry Potter. But his mother Lily stepped in front of him and caused the curse to rebound on Voldemort, making Harry the only person known to survive the curse. The book is also famously used by Severus Snape to kill Dumbledore. Petrificus Totalis This spell allows the caster to completely paralyze someone, at least for a temporary amount of time. The spell causes the target to become completely stiff and unable to move, making them helpless to the caster and everyone else around them. This spell is one of the most well-known and most common. It was used initially in the first book, Longbottom. She used it to keep Longbottom in place while the trio left the common room in order to search for the stone. It was also famously used by Draco Malfoy in the Half-Blood Prince to keep Harry in place underneath his invisibility cloak. Fiendfire Fiendfire is a devastating fire-based spell that causes an extremely powerful, out-of-control fire which can't be extinguished with normal remedies like fire extinguishing materials. The fires created by Fiendfire are extremely large and dangerous. They can easily consume entire rooms and homes in a matter of seconds, and it burns through everything it touches in no time at all. The spell can even create animal-like mutations, which make it appear more fearsome. The most notable use of Fiendfire in the books was in Deathly Hallows, when Crabe used a spell in the Room of Requirement in order to attempt to kill the trio. However, Crabe was inexperienced with the spell, and it ultimately went out of control and killed him. Expecto Patronum Unlike the darker spells on this list, Expecto Patronum is a powerful spell with a lighter touch. This is a defensive spell which conjures up a protective shield for the person who cast it. The shield takes the form of a Patronus, which is different for every person. This spell is the only way to fend off Dementors from Azkaban. The most famous use of Expecto Patronum occurs in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban when Harry is taught to conjure one in order to ward off the Dementors. Later on, 
Harry taught this spell the Dumbledore's army, helping to increase the amount of witches and wizards able to cast it. And there you have it, the top 10 most powerful spells in Harry Potter. Just remember, when you're trying out these spells at home, it's Leviosa, not Leviosar. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe.